Alright, folks, let's get real about the 69th position. You know, that moment when you think you're being adventurous, but really you're just stuck in a human pretzel. Who decided this was a good idea? So, there we are, all excited, thinking we're about to elevate our game. I mean, who doesn't want to multitask during intimacy? It's like, hey babe, let's eat dinner and do the dishes at the same time. But once you're in it, suddenly it feels like trying to solve a Rubik's Cube blindfolded. I'm up there, upside down, thinking, did I stretch enough for this? It's like yoga gone wrong, downward dog, takes on a whole new meaning. And don't even get me started on positioning. One minute you're confident, the next you're like, is that my knee in your face or a random limb from a horror movie? And then there's the coordination. It's a real dance, but I'm not sure what kind. Do I turn left here? Or maybe right? Should I spin? I mean, why don't they have a GPS for this? Recalculating, make a U-turn for optimal pleasure. Let's not forget about the sounds. Suddenly, you're not just having fun, you're trying to communicate like two old walkie-talkies. Can you hear me now? No. How about now? And just when you think you've got it down, you realize your partner's having a completely different experience. Is this pleasurable or just a comedy show? So, in conclusion, the 69 position is less about synchronizing pleasure and more about laughing at your own misadventures. Remember, if it's awkward, it's just part of the journey. Thanks, like, comment, subscribe and share, because let's face it, sharing the awkwardness makes it way more fun.